Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and I'm so excited that we're moving into essential number three in our home management series where you and I are putting together our home management system. Now, I thought it was important that at this point I share with you my actually actual completed system because if you're new to the channel you or you haven't been following me for that long I need you to see the complete picture so this may help you along but we're definitely going to get into essential number three also so let's get started <music> So friends, before I jump into sharing with you how I have my home management system set up, let me give you a few tidbits. One, make sure that it's in a centralized place in your home. I like keeping mine in my kitchen because it's easy for both Mike and I to get to. You want every family member to be able to easily access it, so the kitchen is a great place. Now, the second thing is to make sure that you keep everything corralled together. I like using a caddy. You will know over the years I always have a caddy. The key is to make it easy for your family to get to the things they need and to also make it visually appealing because it is sitting out in your kitchen or wherever the centralized place is for you in your home. So that's just a few little things that I want to share with you. Um, and now I actually want to take you through and, you know, show you all of the things or most of the things because we still have... Um, a few more essentials to get through before you see the entire completed package. But I thought it was important to just share with you this here um, and take you through kind of the setup. And then as we go through the home planner and continue to build on our home management system, you will totally see how this comes together and how this can really be efficient for you and relieve stress. You know, how many times is the family always running to you for different things, so many different things um, such as keys and money and and all those little tidbits, the Wi-Fi passcode. And so this is going to resolve all that. Okay, the first item that I have in my home management system is this padfolio, and it has the menu plan in it. I will put any home meeting items in there so that I can just grab this padfolio when we do our family meetings. And the great thing about having the menu plan is easy to access. This is one that we can just easily get to. If I am busy, Mike can come here and he can start dinner. We all know what the plan is. And sometimes we get off track. We may not have one item for dinner because you know something comes up, but at least we have our menu plan. So that makes it great. It relieves so much stress and it really makes it so that the family can all chip in when needed. And then there's simply a pad um, on the side. And then of course we have our home planner, which is the core part of the home management system and as we go through the next essentials and all of this series you'll see how all of this comes together to really really make this an efficient part of your home then a family calendar this is a must this is a calendar that comes to that family home meeting this is a new one actually that i bought i couldn't resist when i saw that in the padfolio i said i'm gonna have to definitely switch this out because it matches my home planner but it's great for having at the family home meetings so that everyone can put in their schedule soccer practice any events coming up everything that's going on in one centralized place so that anyone can come and see what everyone has going on you can even color code it for the family members however you want to do this to make it efficient for you I can share that in a different video and this is the one that's going to kick off in July for us and I'm so excited to really you know get into this one because it's really efficient another thing is an envelope with money you know sometimes kids come to the door neighbors kids come to the door and they're selling things for the school and you want to purchase something or um, sometimes you may need to tip how about your child tells you right in the morning they need $5 for the book fair or whatever the case may be, you have some petty cash on hand, home petty cash. And you can include this in your family budget to be kind of refilled at the budget time, the monthly budget time. But this is such a stress reliever, just having a little bit of petty cash for the home available for everybody when they need it. They can come pull here. If you have a larger family and you need some type of accountability system, throw that in also. I also love keeping thank you cards in my home management system for anyone who comes to help around our home, to service such as the lawn or if they come to um, fix anything. I like to let them leave or I like for them to leave with a thank you card because it always just builds a great relationship with them. They always take such great care of your home and I, I've just always believed in uh, doing this and even if you're paying them, put the money in a thank you card. It takes all of a few seconds to write that to make someone's day that has really um, helped 
you around your home. So this is something that um, you will notice I had in my first management system several years ago and I still keep it today, along with notepads. Notepads to write um, quick little shopping lists, um, notepads to also write little messages to each other, whether we need to you know jot anything down. And so this is really something that is a definitely key to have in your home management system so that you all can have those little communication tools as you go through the week. And you'll notice it does match the thank you cards. And I'll, sh I'll show you in the next essential how I did all that. But it also matches the box that the thank you cards came in. And what I did was I repurposed that box to hold some of the items in my home management system, such as my Wi-Fi password cards. I have cards for guests when they come that I can give them with our home um, Wi-Fi information. This saves so much time from having to try to find it when guests need to log on or you know having to wait for them to get it in there, before, making sure you get that piece of paper back to, to put it back. So it just really keeps things efficient. I keep honeydew cards in here if I want to ask Mike to do anything for me this is a sweet way to ask your significant other to really um, do tasks around the home in a loving way and so I keep these in here so that I can easily get to them and then that way I can um, make sure they sit them out for him when needed I then also have the little cubby here where I keep just a little bit of essentials such as scissors you all know I have gold scissors all through my house because I use them all the time and then I have this little hammer that has been with me forever but this friends is the most and his tool because you know it's just those little things that can stress you out um just needing that little um screwdriver just to fix your glasses or to fix this and that and this little handy tool is a hammer you unscrew it you have one size of a screwdriver and you have two other side um two other sizes and then you also have a phillips head in there so this is a really handy dandy tool um and i'll link below if i can find it i'll link it below also but those are some of the basics that i have in the home management system and as we go through this series you will see how the rest of this really comes through to really 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 maximize the efficiency of having something like this constant in your home for your family because there are so many things that your family needs such as keys and pool access and the money and all kinds of things and this is going to handle it for you and really really save you a lot of stress a lot of time and, and be a great communication tool for your family I hope this was helpful to kind of see my home management system, to see how this whole series is coming together. And so all the work we're doing now is going to really build into something wonderful for you and your family. But now let's get to work on essential number three, because this is a big one putting together our family emergency preparedness plan. This is something that's huge for us and we need this and we need this in our home management system so that in the event of a disaster or some type of emergency, we know to come right here to this place, grab this book, take it with us and it has everything that we need. And so we are going to actually be putting a lot of the information into the beautifully organized home planner so that you have it here in your home management system. Now, Friends, we have seven steps that we need to take. I'm going to post the next video for the next essential, I think around Friday. This will give you about a two, two and a half day buffer time to get all of this um, ready and prepared. And that way you can really just kind of jump into the next essential feeling like you have this handled. So now let's go through all of the seven really quick so that I can share with you all of the information that you will be kind of filling out into your planner for the next two days. And so it's important to get all of this information in here. Okay, friends, step one, goal one, is to get all of your family's contact information logged in here. Now, this is everyone that's in the home, along with those that are important to you that live outside of your home, your mom, grandparents, you know, numbers like that. You know, we all rely on technology now, and so we don't know anyone's telephone number. And in the event of emergency, you never know. You may lose your phone, you may not have access to it, with disasters, all kinds of things happen, but to have those physical numbers written down could be huge. So you wanna just log all of the important family members and their numbers right here on this page. And also a part of this first goal is to get all of your emergency contacts logged. These are all the people that need to be contacted in the event of an emergency for your family. So make sure that the information is updated. You may need to contact um, you know, your emergency contacts and make sure you have the most updated information for them. And with this whole emergency preparedness section, you want to incorporate quarterly 
putting this in the agenda for the family home meeting so that you can update any information. So now goal number two is to get your emergency action plan together. This is important for the family and I want to go back here and, and show you under step two, you want to ask these questions, you and your family together. What action should we take in the event of an emergency? Where do we meet? Where do we meet if a family member can't get home? What is the initial action that we take? You know, these are things that we don't typically think about until there's a disaster and then we're like, oh my goodness. And so by having the plan, talking it out together as a family, everyone knows to go to the home management system to get it in, in this information in the event of an emergency. It asks, you know, where do we meet as a family if there's a sudden emergency? This way everyone knows, you know, where is the meeting place in our neighborhood? You know, put the location there, you know. Where is the meeting place regionally if we can't get home? You know, there may be emergency that kicks off and family members are all over the place. What is that central place for you all to meet? And I put a place for additional information here so that you can, you know, add any information that you want to add specific to your family. So throughout the book, you'll notice I tried to give you um, spots where you can just tweak it and add in information that you need it to. So during an emergency on your plan, there's a quick checklist here of things to do, such as um, you know taking pictures and videos of the value in each room, shutting off the utilities, you know reach out to contacts, get your emergency kit. We're going to talk about that in a minute. You know check the radio. So you know I would flag this page with maybe a marker so that in the event of emergency they can just come to the tab. Um, you may even want to label it emergency so it's easy to get to. Of course, documenting those important numbers such as shelter control and poison control. Now. Step number three is to log all of our insurance provider information, your home insurance, your car insurance, all of your insurance company information. You want to document it there, have your policy number, contact number. And of course, you know, this is going to be important to, you know, have in event, in the event that you need it during a disaster or some type of emergency. You know, again, I, I can't stress enough. You don't want to wait until something happens to then figure out, you know, I should have had a plan. I should have had all this information together, but by having it all together all the time in your home management system in that one centralized place that you're you go to all of the time you know to grab and go so that's important now number four is to create a home inventory log I did put this in the book so that you could log it if you wanted to just log your essentials those really high value things that you really wanted to make sure you that you had logged in but I do want to do a separate video on how you can do this digitally to really really make it efficient for you because there's really a simplified way that you can do that but I definitely wanted to put a written version in here for anyone who wanted to definitely log their inventory and so I would recommend logging those kind of high value items or those important items that you really need to have in here. Also friends, if you have not subscribed to the At Home with Nikki family, please click that subscribe button. Take a second now and go ahead and click that button along with the bell so that you will be notified whenever I post a video. And now let's move into our number five goal and this is the medical provider information. So you want to log all the medical provider information for all family members. Again, this is such key information to have on hand in the event of a disaster or emergency situation where, you know, you have to just get out of there. You just grab your book, you grab your home planner, and you have, you know, you have security in knowing that you have all the information that you need to follow up with anything. And so the next goal is to create our emergency kit. Now, this is a big one, friends, because this is going to take kind of gathering things and putting things together. And I'm going to do a entirely separate video specifically on putting together your emergency kit because it really, really can be a fun project for the family. Everyone can have their backpacks. You can put their names, the family name on the backpacks. It's really a fun way to do it. So I thought it would be a fun video to share with you. Let me know in the comments if, the, if you would be really interested in me doing a video on that because I really want to do that video. I think it could be extremely helpful. So I hope to get it out right after we complete the series um, but I want to know if that's really something you would be interested in but if you want to go ahead and get started all the information is here and definitely I would encourage you to I definitely would encourage you to also let me just take a moment and say this whole series and the home management system and all of this it's for everyone whether you're single or a family of 10 empty nesters retired, whatever the case may be, this is for all of us. If you live in an apartment, you live in a, a 5,000 square foot home, if you manage your home, 
you need this. You need some type of system to manage everything that goes on in your life. It can really simplify things. It can really take a lot and relieve a lot of stress. So I just want to put that out there. So the next item or goal on our agenda is to create the family member profile. So it will be a page for each family member. Now, if you have a huge family and you find that there's not enough profiles in the book, simply make a copy and paper clip it to the back of another family members and you have it. Long as they're all together here in your home management system, you're good. Now you do want to get a picture of every family member and you want to make sure it's a good picture where you can see all of their features and it's close up. You don't want a distant picture. And then you want to put the picture in the block there. And then what you want to do is you want to fill out all of the information on that family member, one page per family member. And I would start with the head of the household and then work your way down because then you can move into profiles for your children. I have um, a section here for you to write your profiles for any children that are in the family. And you know, of course, not only children, again, if you have a lot of children, just copy the page and put it behind. And of course, our pets are our family members too. And so we have a pet profile, take a beautiful picture close up of your pet, put it in the home management system in the block and then fill out all of their information. And so it's really great because it has a place for their microchip information if that um, relates and all of that really important information that you'll need in the event of an emergency. So definitely you want to also get your fur babies in there. And I do want to mention that my pets, Bentley and Albert, have their own YouTube channel at home with Bentley and Albert and they are going to actually be posting a video tomorrow. So definitely look out for that. And I'll put a link to their channel below. If you want pet organization or you just want fun Funny pet videos check out their channel I think you will love it so friends this this sums it up this is our goal what we need to do in essential three to get our emergency preparedness plan together and once we get this done friends it's it feels so good having this information current having it on your family and knowing that it's in this home management system and it's easy to grab and go and that you have that emergency action plan for your family and everyone's on board again keeping that communication growing within your family on those important items so friends i hope you have found this helpful and if you have not gotten your beautifully organized home planner i will put the link below you can get it off amazon and it's definitely not too late to jump in the videos are on the channel you can catch up friends before i leave i also want to share a little backstory on how i chose the color of the book, The Beautifully Organized Home Planner. You know, gray is throughout my home and I love that color in a home. And my mom's favorite color is lavender. And I wanted to infuse those two colors to come up with the color for the book because she is my inspiration. She taught me everything about the home and she is why I'm so passionate about my family and home. And so I wanted us both infused in the color of the book and then be able to pass it on to you, that love that we have for each other and for our homes, for us both to be able to pass it on to you. So that is a little backstory on the Beautifully Organized Home Planner. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.